Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Such a pleasure to be able to speak to you today. Uh, maybe we could just kick off with a brief intro. For people who don't know anything about Renegade now, what can they expect? So it's set in 1704. It's about a woman who returns home from a war to her family-run pub. And unfortunately, she's wrongly accused of murder and she's forced to go on the run. She's very lucky that she is uh, aided by a plucky sprite called Billy Blind, who's played by Nick Mohammed. And, and together they, well, they go on to thwart a whole manner of evil forces going on in the, in yes. the country. So yeah. And of course, um, we know Sally Wainwright's work from likes of Happy Valley, um, and she just has a real seem to have a real aptitude for creating these amazing characters and, and relationships and making them all feel very relatable. Mm. So this is a completely different genre, um, a different kettle of fish, but there seems to be that same grounding. When you read the script, what did you think? Yeah, I mean, when I auditioned, I actually didn't even get the full scripts. I only had a couple of scenes. But still, I got such a sense. I mean, that's credit to Sally. I had such a sense of who Nell was and what the show was, even from those little scenes. Mm. I mean, my audition scene was when Nell meets Billy for the first time, and I had no idea what Billy or who Billy was. But um, if you saw my audition scene and you saw the scene that we actually shot, they're very similar in tone. Have you got the tape? Yeah, I'll send it to you. I'll send it to you. Oh, I can't you. wait to yeah. see that. And of course, um, you know, with the success of Derry Girls, I guess maybe you had this sort of moment of like, you know, what, what should I do next? When this landed in your lab, um, it must have felt like an exciting moment. And how did you prepare to play now? I struggled a little bit when I was filming Dairy Girls. Um, I, I I was just unlucky with jobs and I was actually working in the pub. Um, so when we were filming our final series of Dairy Girls, um, I kind of thought maybe, you know, this I, I might give this career up because it wasn't really going very well for me other than Dairy Girls, which was a huge success. But with that platform, and I still wasn't making waves from it. And I thought maybe this isn't the career for me. And then <laughs> maybe it was Billy Blind who sent me this audition. <laughs> and, um, uh, and I auditioned and obviously got the role, which is just a complete um, look at the draw. But I prepared, um, I had three months intense martial arts training and horse riding lessons to, to obviously play now, which was amazing. And I read sort of, you know, Tom Cruise, you know, eat your heart out. You're actually sort of doing a lot of the yeah, stunts that, yourself. And I slipped Jolie Richardson 20 quid just to say that. I don't know where she got that from, but um, lovely compliment. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, it was important for everyone for me to do as much as I physically could. And tell us a bit about playing Billy Blind, kind of a, a spin on Tinkerbell, not Tinkerbell. What, you yeah. know, how do you see the character? And how, must have been a bit surreal playing that, you know. Um, yeah, I don't know how the logistics. Um, I was lucky that I came on board... Um, once I definitely got sent scripts, I remember Louisa was already attached to it, um, and so I had a bit more information about the show. Obviously, huge fan of Sally's and read it and just thought this is phenomenal. Like you say, de a departure for her, but thematically very still feels very her, and um, I loved it. You know, and you know the idea of being a guy who could shape shift and sort of be on wires, and that he's he's basically part of Nell. Really, you know, he doesn't have magic powers on his own. He's sort of a conduit for these powers with Nell and so yeah it was sort of what's not to love and it's very different from anything else I, I'd done before so yeah. And just from speaking to the rest of the cast and the director as well it's like, it just feels like there was such an amazing bond between all of you and like working on this set and everything. What were some of the highlights or maybe some of the challenging moments as well? Well, I mean, I don't think I actually, had, I mean, I enjoyed every day. I loved every second of it. And it was long, you know, it was a long job and we needed a lot of stamina to do it, especially such a physical job and such different elaborate costumes. But yeah, the, the cast, just total joy and, and, and all incredible and are so integral to the show. We also just had such good crack. I don't know, you missed out on that. I missed out on yeah. that because all my stuff was filmed on my own. <laughs> but I'm hoping if we get a season two that I, I've said to Ben, director, um, <coughs> I've said I really want us to do stuff where I can be sort of present. So oh, can, definitely. That would so just much be amazing. Yeah. And in terms of the takeaways from the show, I mean, I guess it's like you know, having a female lead that's, you know, not like your usual kind of Disney princess. This isn't a damsel in distress. She yeah. is so tough. She's funny. She's flawed. And it does feel like a bit of a sign of our times that you can have a character like that leading a show like this. No, absolutely. Absolutely. And that's that's one of the reasons I love this show and uh, just feel so honoured to be playing now. And I hope I, I do it justice for Sally and, 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 and this wonderful world.
and I think also something that, you know, the whole family in a way, I mean, not t tiny kids, but, you know, the, the whole family can watch. There aren't many shows out there that can have all the, the comedic elements, the dramatic elements, I think the it's fantasy. very difficult, John, to get right that sort of family, sort of friendly... Absolutely. Um, ...that everyone can watch together. It's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a real tightrope, but you have to sort of walk between all those different sort of things. Yeah, absolutely. But thank you so much for sharing all that with pleasure, me. Pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. everyone pleasure. else to watch thank the show. Thank you very much. Thank you.